Okay, so that last video was a pretty dodgy intro to Storyboard. Uh, just to recap though, we've got four files. Main.lua is going to take us to the game.lua file. Um, in the game.lua file we've got our game code and in start and restart we've got nothing at the moment, but we will have something soon. What we want to do now, just to get Storyboard up and working, is we're going to hop from the main and then we're going to jump straight into the game like without a start screen. And then once we sure we can get there, we'll do the starts. We'll add the start screen and the restart screen, and then we'll have storyboard up and working. Okay, so like I said, that last video was fairly dodgy, and I can't promise that much else in this video. But let's just see how we go. We'll get there. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right now. Okay, so here we go. Um, just to view, we got main .lua. It's gonna take us to game, and that should work. We shouldn't have to change that. I'm gonna go to game .lua and oh, let's begin. So we need to require in here, um, just like in the last one we required storyboard, so let's type it again, so local storyboard and then it's going to require, probably could have copied and pasted this from somewhere, but anyway, uh, require, for some reason this one, I'm not sure if it needs these brackets here, but anyway, I'm going to put them in. Um, what I say here, if you look at this require, we don't have like round brackets up here. This one, when I did it last time, I had them, but no, no, anyway. Okay, and we're also going to create a scene variable local scene equals storyboard dot new scene. New scene. Okay. Alright, so we've got two variables. One requiring storyboard, the scene saying, hey, storyboard, create a new scene, please. Okay, and then everything else. So, what we need to do now is set up some functions that are unique to using storyboard. So, we're going to say, hey, scene, um, what we want to do, you is have a create scene function passed in with an event, and that's going to end. Okay, when we do our create scene, what we want to place in here is whenever we add anything, like add graphics, um, put them in the create scene. To actually use this, we need to create what's called a, um, a screen group. So we have screen group equals self dot view. You'll see what we do with this variable is all the graphics we add, we're going to add them into the group. And I think what happens then is when you change screens, you can just because all the graphics are in the one screen group, you can just remove the screen group and that'll remove all the graphics. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is um, we're going to copy so these five graphics. So I'm starting from the background and also grabbing the four city graphics. I'm going to cut that and actually place them inside. So here we, in the function scene.create scene, inside this function, so I'll tab in a bit, I'm actually going to paste. And uh, let me just edit that, so I'm just going to select everything, sorry, sorry, bad selecting, okay, and tab that in, so that didn't work, why isn't tab working, um, let me just see if I can do it with a chunk, nope. okay, there's a way to, uh, to tab in text wrangler, I'm sure, but anyway, um, let me just talk about this while I, no, that's going to, hang on, let me just pause the video. Okay, so that was pretty embarrassing. I don't know how to tab in Text Wrangler, but uh, anyway. Um, so, what I've done, the important bit there is, when we add these five graphics, so we've got the background and city one, two, three, and four, they are now inside the create scene function. So we've got function, create scene, and then it ends down here, and inside we're adding those five graphics. Okay, so that's that bit done. Now what we need to do is... Um, set up a uh, set up what's known as the um, the enter scene and then also the exit scene and the destroy scene so let me just copy them out so I'm just gonna copy this so copy I'm gonna what I'm actually gonna do here is create um, I'm gonna do just copy paste these so again this is the enter scene and we'll see what goes in there in a moment. But I'm just going to put an end because we're going to need another two functions. Again, these there are like four functions sort of built into storyboard that I know of. Exit scene and then a 
destroy scene. And these are set up to run at different times in sort of the life of the screen. Or say when the screen loads or when you exit the scene, they're pretty well named. Like when we create the scene, we first want to add the graphics, and then when we enter the scene, what we can do in there is um, that's where we can add all our um, all our so-called event listeners. So, and those, if you might remember, down here we had. So we got these four event listeners here. We got these guys. So I'm going to cut them and um, paste them inside the enter scene. So all the um, all the event listeners, so the things that, basically event listeners are set up, so when you've got a variable and you want it to do something, generally you want it to do something on what's called an event, which might be enter frame, it might be a screen touch, so you need to set up an event listener so that when that event occurs you can tell a particular graphic or variable to do something, so, okay, so we've added those in there, um, we do have another event listener, and which is the, um, the touch screen one. Okay, so I'm going to move that stuff up and put that inside the um, enter scene. Okay, exit scene and destroy scene. Um, well, exit scene, we need to remove any, event, uh, uh, remove any event listeners eventually, but we don't, I don't think we need to worry about those two for now. So let's, uh, what else have we got? Okay, so what we've got left, oh, it's actually, we're not done here because still got, um, this jet needs to um, be joined into the create scene because we are um, we're adding it uh, again. It's it, well, it's a graphic, so if we want to get it added to the screen in the game.lua screen, uh, we need to add it inside the create scene function. Okay, we've still just got a blank screen. Um, let's see if we've got what errors we got. Um, Okay, we're still having a problem in main.lua, so I'm going to take a look at that, and then in the next video, um, we'll get this working for sure. Um, just stop and take a look, and but yep, yeah, next video, we're going to have this all working. Okay.